I'm gonna start off with this one because I think this should be addressed. It's very important. Do you ever get the protein points? I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram story and here are your questions. Uh, next question is gonna be, how do you stay consistent with the cardio? It just kills me. I'm good for a week. Honestly, man, the best way to do it is to just wake up and go do it. Simple as that. Um, if you have like a piece of equipment at your house, that's great. It's super easy to do it that way. Or if you want to go for like a nice long walk outside. For me personally, I do prefer to do like the Stairmaster or an incline treadmill. So I drive to like the closest gym to my house, which is unfortunately a Planet Fitness. Um, so I just recommend you wake up and just do it first thing. Wake up earlier too, so that way you have time for the rest of the things you need to do in your day. Uh, but that's the best way to do it. And also, if you believe in fasted cardio, which I am a firm believer in it, it's actually technically, if you believe in it, um, it's better to do it in the morning fasted. So, bucket list items for 2024. I definitely want to travel more, which I'm already doing. Thankfully, I'm going to Florida soon. Uh, that'll be in about five days now, which I'm really excited for. And we'll be filming a lot of that, so stay tuned for that. But um, want to travel more. I'm hoping to get diced again. I haven't been like super, super lean in a couple years, so I'm hoping to get there. I'm working on it right now. I would say we're getting pretty far with it, so I'm excited to see the progress continue to come. Have this year be the year I make the most money, just because I'm starting to get older and I need to start seeing this career actually look like a career. I've been putting a lot more effort into all my social medias, and I'm hoping that this year it pays off and finally I can like say like, yeah, like I made it. Like this is what my I do for a living, you know? I want to be able to say I can sustain myself. Living a healthy lifestyle, staying healthy, my family members, my friends, my girlfriend, I hope that they all stay healthy. Those are all things that I, I hope that happens this year. How much weight did you gain on your first real bulk? So my first real bulk I did back in 2021. I started at 153 pounds or so, and I got up to about 176. Yeah, so that was probably, I guess that's 23 pounds. So I had like a 23 pound gain. Then after that, I cut back down to 163-ish, and then accidentally took it a little too far. Went to like 158, and that was just too lean. Was not a good look. Uh, I was literally like, like twitchy. Like when I would like do like the poses and stuff, like I literally remember my body like twitching and cramping and it was just, I don't want to ever feel that way again. So do not like starve yourself. That's what I was doing to like stay as lean as possible. Don't get addicted to being lean. It's not healthy. It looks cool though. All right, how did I meet my girlfriend? Also, how to find someone with similar interests as you? I actually, I love this story because it just is like so goofy of me, but I actually met my girlfriend at the gym and I know, well, well, right, and I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Because you go to the, yeah, that that is why I went up to her because I was like, you know what, like, if I'm gonna be with someone, it has to be someone that has like the same aspirations, hobbies, because I mean, I'm gonna be at the gym. I was on the treadmill doing my cardio with my boy and I was like, yo, you see her? I'm about to go talk to her. I kid you not, he goes, he goes, he goes, oh, that little vibe? And I was like, yeah, the little vibe. He goes, okay, bro, you better do it then. And I was like, yeah, bro, but like, hey, but I'm not gonna go out my way. Like, I'm not gonna stop my cardio, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna stay in my lane. And if she comes by my way, I'll be like, what's up, shawty? And that's it. That's not really. Uh, he was like, yeah, whatever, you ain't gonna say nothing. And honestly, I, I really had no plans of going up to her. I was kind of being a, a wuss. I was a little scared. Then he leaves. I think 20 minutes go by after I'm like talking this big game. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get her number, yada, yada, yada. And then thankfully, I see my other friend, my, my closest friend that I've been best friends with since like fifth grade. And I'm like, dude, should I go hit her up? Like, should I say, yo, what's up or something? Like, what should, what, what should I do? I don't really, I've been talking to girls like this in a while. Like, what do I do? He's like, bro, just go say what's up. And I was like, all right. I was like, you hitting triceps? He's like, yeah. I was like, let me get a set. Bro, I, I kid you not, a good 30 seconds before I walked up to her, your boy got a tricep pump. I was doing them crossover cable joints. I was like, yeah, let me get pumped up. And I walked up to her and I was like, yo, uh, what tanning setting should I do in the tanning bed? Cause I'm about to go tan. Um, and she looked at me like, she took her headphones off like, um, let me see your like skin tone, right? So we like put our arms up next to each other or whatever. I was like, dude, I'm in. By the way, worst pickup line ever. The only reason I used that is because I knew she worked at a tanning salon because I saw her there once. So that's the only reason like I used the, the tanning riz. Like I used my tan skin-ish genetics to be like, yeah, surely like what should I tan with in the gold gym tanning bed? And anyway, she was like, yeah, like, you know, maybe she just come into Palm Beach sometime and get like a membership or something, you know, maybe give you like a discount or something. I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, so, uh, you know, let me get your snap. That way you can let me know whenever that is so I can come in and say what's up, you know? She gave me the snap and I was like, okay, cool. Got the snap, secured, went home. I was like, all right, but I ain't gonna snap her. She gotta snap me first. 
And it's funny because I talked to her later on about this after like we started dating. And she was like telling me how she was so mad like I didn't Snapchat her. So she did Snapchat me that night and we started talking. And honestly, we just started off as friends and things kind of took their course. And now she's my girlfriend of a year and almost eight months. This month will be a year and eight months. That's crazy. Definitely blessed to have her in my life. Not gonna lie, couldn't do it without the tricep pump. So in other words, get a tricep pump, get a fat tricep pump before you go talk to your crush. I mean, as for how to find someone with similar interests as you, obviously like you gotta, you have to have the confidence to go up to somebody at a place of interest that you have so that way you can make that connection, you know? And the beautiful thing about it is like, if you guys already share a hobby or, or like an interest, right? Like for example, the gym, you know, if you're like, hey, like can I work in with you? You know, like she's not gonna be like, I don't like, no. Unless she has a boyfriend or something and she's just trying to be respectful, like, nah, like, if like if she can catch on to your game and she's like, no, then just be like, all right, cool. Just walk about your day. Like, literally, that's the worst thing that can happen. I mean, I mean, she could just beat the fucking... Get your ass out of here. Ever say any word to me again. That's probably realistically the worst thing that could happen to you. And it probably will not happen. So, just be prepared. If she says no, like, cool. I'll do my set over there. <laughs> like what? And then when you go over there, make sure you look tough doing your set. You feel me? Oh, so pretty much you have to kind of work on your confidence to make sure that you have the confidence to go up to that person in a place that you share an interest at. For example, the gym, if you like working out or the bar, if you like to party and drink and all that stuff for Bible study, if that's what you're into, you know, you literally just have to, you have to go to some place that you can find people that do the same thing that you enjoy. And then you have to go up to that person. You can't, it's not going to just like work itself out. You have to have the confidence to like make it happen. At the end of the day, you do have to have the confidence to go up to that person and kind of just figure that person out, you know? And literally, like I said, the worst thing that can happen to you is, do you ever get the protein farts? Yeah, I do. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm proud of it. They, they're bad. They, they are bad. I'll own up to it too, because honestly, it means that I'm eating protein. It means I'm getting my protein goal in. That protein intake, the 230 grams of protein on my fitness pal, hit every time. And it, it shows with the farts. It's like, yeah, who's f What are you eating? Protein. So yes, I do. It's okay, it's all right. I feel like we should normalize that shit. It's 2024, we'll normalize anything else besides, oh, like, yeah, I fucking, I fart. Yeah, I fart and they stink because I'm eating my protein. How do you balance YouTube, gym, and fitness with socializing and university slash college? Yeah, that's actually a pretty good question. And although I wouldn't consider myself to be like a big creator yet, I, I hopefully will be there one day, but even still being a smaller creator, right? It's a lot, like I do the Snapchat stuff where I'm like posting all day, every day. I don't even make money from that yet. I'm honestly just doing it so I'm in the habit of it when hopefully that day comes one day where you know there's like there's ads in between my Snapchat stories. It actually is monetizable. I do that every day. And I'm also obviously doing like Instagram. So I'm throwing up like stories, like promoting the things I gotta promote, showing things about my life, trying to interact with y'all, trying to catch on to like the trends and everything and stay relevant. It's a lot. And then on top of it all, trying to revive my dead TikTok account. It's, it's tough, you know? And then obviously the YouTube. Thank God I have Adam who's editing for me now because otherwise have so much less time as is and then every night I try to stream for one to two hours on Twitch try to make some money on there you know trying to grow on every single platform possible all while having to diet all day go to the gym do that cardio maintain my relationship with my girlfriend my brother my, my parents my friends my friends are at college and so it's not like as much of a pressure but I mean yeah it's a lot and I'll be honest with you it took me a while to get it all down I'm still learning uh, it's not fully balanced yet I would say uh, I think that some days I do too much social media some days I do too much life and it's just kind of one of those things that you have to learn and grow as a person as you keep going with it and you get better over time with like, anything else you know when you first started school you know it wasn't like you didn't have a set routine like yeah I'm gonna do my homework here this here uh, play with my friends here, you know, I'm talking about like elementary school, obviously, like watch my TV at this time, like you didn't have a set routine, you know, as you grew up and as you kept going through school and stuff, like eventually it got easier. And also the, another thing too, thankfully, is my responsibilities compared to someone who's like a large creator, it's not nearly as much yet. Similarly to school, you go from elementary to middle to high school to college, right? You don't just start with college, right? You go from elementary to middle to high school, then college, if you go to college. So yeah, it's like you don't have to have the, the hard responsibilities right off the bat. So it's like, you know, 
My responsibilities are slowly becoming more and more and more important and I'm slowly having more of them as I grow as a creator. But luckily, you know, it's something I've been getting a lot better at recently. Um, it honestly just kind of feels like a normal day, like at school. Honestly, that's the best way to describe it at this point. Like you go from period one to two to three to four to five, you know, and that's kind of how I just structure my days out. Like right now I'm filming and after this, I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna do my cardio and then I'm gonna hit the sauna. And then I'm gonna come home, eat, you know, have some downtime, then get back to like streaming or editing, doing whatever I have to do for that day, you know? I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like this is like my dream job. And even though I'm not like, yeah, like here's my yacht, here's my Lambo, fucking. Fuck with me, you came fuck with me, I got security on deck, like I'm rich. Like even though I'm not like that, and hopefully, hopefully I never actually talk like that unironically. Cause if I do, I fully give y'all the privilege of coming up to me if you see me in person, just cracking my shit. If I'm talking like that, like, yeah, like fucking, I'm fucking rich and uh, my car's faster than yours and fucking bought three houses in LA. Please rock my shit. Because that is not who I am as a person. <laughs> And I, I, I don't think that would ever happen to me. But, but yeah, I mean, obviously once I get to that point where I'm making more and more money, the responsibilities will come. But you know, you don't just start at that point. I mean, unless you were like born doed up. But I do appreciate y'all sticking all the way through to the end of the video. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Guys, this is what this is about. We're becoming friends. <laughs> See, like y'all are fucking with me and I'm fucking with you. Anyway, um, I know I'm weird and I just appreciate you putting up with me. Make sure you use code Shaw on all the fucked up products. Make sure you buy Eternal Form. Link down below. I saved the ads for the end, guys. I mean, who does that? I'm losing money out here. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Peace. Have a great rest of your Monday and uh, see you on Thursday.